Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. And today, this is number 41 in my powerful tools of Affinity Photo. And we're going to just take shapes to the next level. Uh, instead of just playing shapes, let's play around with them a little and make them look more interesting. I'm doing this in both iPad and desktop versions, and they're very short tutorials. So you could watch the whole thing or you could skip ahead if you'd like. I want to thank you all so much. I've hit 10,000 subscribers. I know that's not a lot for the people who've been doing this for a long time, but I haven't been doing it for very long, and I just do it for a hobby, and I do it because I like to teach. So I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed. Uh, you don't realize how much I appreciate it. It makes me feel like it's worth continuing to do, so I really want to thank you again, and let's get started. So here I am in the desktop version, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the shape tool. And I'm going to hold down the shape tool, and I'm going to start with a cog that's right down here. And I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I hold shift so it's an even cog. And it's a very simple cog right there. And maybe I could turn that into a little bit of a grayish color. I can keep it white, but I'm going to just, just so you could see it for now. I'm going to go to a little bit of a gray, just so you have a look, so you can see it against the white. And I'll change the background later. And now it's simple. You can do many things with the cog tool. So if you press on the cog tool, there's things up on top here. For example, I can add more teeth. It says 12. I can just, I could slide up maybe. Let's go, like, maybe 18 gives you more teeth. I think 18 looks pretty good. And radius is 85, and the hole is 20, and the tooth size, you can do so many different things. And again, I don't know how each one's going to come out. I play around and do different things like this, and we'll see. And then I've showed you this before, but now what I want to do is let's go to effects on it. So down here, we click effects. And I'm going to go to the 3D effects. And 3D is what I think will make it more interesting, I hope. <laughs> so again, each time I do this, it's a little bit different. So I just have to play around. I'm going to bring the radius up. I'm going to change the profile. If I click in here where this black thing is, I can change the profile of what I want. Like that's one of the radiuses, but maybe I don't want it that way. Maybe I want to like make it even sharper. You see how you can make it sharper like that? And I think I like the sharpness of that. That's pretty cool. So let me leave it that way. Soften it. Do I want to soften it? Maybe not. I think I like the fact that it's really, really sharp. And I'm going to leave the rest and let's go back to the actual cog information. And up here, let's try the whole radius. Let's change the whole radius. We can do that. And, I don't know, maybe the notches. I kind of think the whole radius is weird. We could do kind of something interesting like that. And I kind of like that. And let's see what the, in, the inner radius is going to do. If I do that with outer, if I make the whole radius big, I wonder if it could reverse. No, it can't, but look at what I got there. You can make like a little clock if you want that way. But um, I'm just going to play around a little bit. And again, I don't have an idea what it's going to look like in the end. I'm just playing here just to see what I can come up with. Notch size, let's see, that's the top. Let me go a little bit bigger. And, and you know, it's funny because I tried it in different ways. I tried it on the iPad and I came up with something even better. And now I don't know how to do it on here. So <laughs> I do apologize. Again, I, I just play a lot of times and try and figure out what you can do. So you really should watch the next part, the iPad. So I think I came up with a much better one when I did the iPad version of it. And that's only going to take a few minutes right after this one. So let's leave that at that for now. And then we're going to try the double star, which is another one that I really like. So let's press down on here. The double star right here. So once again, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to pull out the double star. And I am going to change the amount of points. 
and the point let's see what the point radius does let's bring them all to the top I might add more points let's go a little bit more I think that's kind of cool and now once again I'm gonna to go to effects and I'm gonna hit 3d and on 3d I'm gonna change their effects too so what I'll do now maybe is raise the radius again maybe like that and then we'll go into the profile and once again we could change the profile click in here you could start with the real profile by the way they have a lot of different ones and you could pick the ones you like but I like to play around a little bit so maybe what I'll do is I'll put one in the middle and just raise it up a little bit like that and I think I'm okay with that I might want more sharpness here like that kind of a sharpness and I think I'm gonna go back up on top what's the hole radius right there let's bring the hole down so I'm kind of liking that look so let's start with that and now what we can do is let's give this a color so we'll go up to the colors on top and maybe the first one I could do kind of a light blue let's do a little bit more pale maybe a little bit lighter I don't know I like that look but now what I'll do is I'm gonna duplicate that's so control or command J and I'm gonna rotate it I'll hold I won't even hold shift I'm just gonna do it by eye and let's give this one another color so let's try a yellow maybe let's see something like that I'll even make it a brighter yellow now what's interesting is you can do this I think I'll leave the blue on top you could do it something like this but now you can do blend mode so instead of normal uh, you could try like difference look at that how the middle changes or overlay has all different looks I'm gonna give it a difference and then I'm gonna do another duplicate so let's take that one and duplicate again control or command J and we'll rotate that and the reason it's black is because it's the same color but if we give it a different color so let's change that color and I don't know what color yet if we just pick different colors maybe the yellow or maybe a darker blue and you could see the different effects you get and if you don't like them you can change like for example the middle hole you could change that hole in the middle to a wider radius I'm kind of liking a little bit of the red in there it's a little strong so maybe I'll move that below and I'll get something like that and I can move this around and you can see the different colors as they connect to each other so I kind of like that and then what I can also do now is I can do um, layer new fill layer and of course it's red because I had that there let's bring the fill layer to the bottom and let's change that fill layer from a solid let's do it here in fact let's go to the, let's go on the side we'll go to the gradient tool and we'll just go from top to bottom and I don't want the top to be red I want the top to be white so let's make that white and then you can see the effect of all the things and now you can check the different colors I'm not really I'm thinking that the star should have a different radius or maybe each one should have a different radius so you can see as I pull one in I get different effects of maybe if I do the second one and I change that radius just a touch you can see the different things that have. look at that when I do that isn't that pretty cool so and also remember one more thing you can convert them to curves for example if I took this maybe and let me pick a different shape just for the to see what we can come up with let's try the diamond so let's create a diamond shape like maybe right up here so that's a diamond shape and now I can I'll, in fact I'll I won't even make it even I'll squeeze it a little bit I can convert that to curves right now so on top just click up here convert to curves and now by converting it to curves I can go to the node tool and I can add different nodes I can like do this and this 
and then maybe grab this one and move this out like that. And I can curve them and do different things. So maybe, I know this is the worst eagle you'll ever see eagle logo, but maybe I could do something like this and this. <laughs> so it's pretty bad, but you know what I mean. Look how fast I did that. It's like so terrible. But let's say you're doing this. This is let's say this is the best logo in the whole world. Now remember, you can take that and go to effects. And I'm only doing 3D. You could do like all kinds of different things. So let's say I give this a really big 3D, and let's even go bigger. Let's go really big. But this time we're gonna change. We're gonna go a little wild maybe with this shape. So let's start with that but we don't want to do that let's say we bring one up here and then maybe one here and then maybe down here look at this look at how cool that we just made that shape very very cool and and just like in no no time this is like this took three minutes at tops i don't even think that long and it's not the best in the world obviously <laughs> but you know if you want to frame it be my guest. I give you permission to frame it. <laughs> so just remember you can give it colors. You can do all different kinds of things. You can give it drop shadows. And I just wanted this to be very quick and simple. Once again, thank you so much to all the subscribers. You know only 30% of the people who watch these videos subscribe. So I really appreciate that you actually push that button. And have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye. Here we are in the iPad. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the shape tool, which is down here. Let's start with the gear. So the cog, I, I call it the gear, but it's the cog. So let's just go like that. Every time you do a shape, you'll see settings right here on the bottom. So you can click the settings. You can put in actual numbers or you can slide. So let me add more teeth. So I'll add maybe around 18 teeth which is more than was there before. And the radius is 85. I can leave the radius in that. That looks good by itself. And now what I'll do is I will go to effects, which is up here, right there. And I'm going to do 3D. And with 3D effects, I am going to bring this up. Let's try, say, around 18 in that area. And that doesn't really look that great now either. But what you can do now is here's an arrow at the end of the bottom thing. And I push that. And if I go up here, you can do different things with effects. You don't have to just settle for the default. So what I think I'll do is I am going to maybe move this there, which makes it much sharper. I think that looks pretty good like that. So right there, you've made a nice effect, and I can now I can I can go back if I want, and I can make it like really different looks if I want. I can come up like this. I can get something in the middle and bring the inside in and out like that. But I'm going to delete that. I think I kind of like this, and I'll leave that one like that. And that's the first one. And now I can go back and move it around. And I don't like the background. So let's start with the background and keep it simple. Let's go up to the layers. I'm going to add a new fill layer. And I'll put that layer behind. I'm going to press down, drag it behind. And I'm going to maybe make that a gradient, which is right here. And I can go like this. And I think I want it reversed on the bottom. I'll just click reverse. And at least now you can see the gear. But I'm going to try another one. I'm going to go to the shape tool and let's try the double star. It's one of my favorites. And so I'm going to hold my finger so it's an even star. And now what I'll do is I'm going to do exactly. First, let's make it the color. I'm just going to make the color white. I'll change the color afterwards, but let's start with white. Here it tells me my points. So what I'll do now is Let's bring more points, and I think I'll bring all the points up. But I'm going to bring this way down, something like that. And I don't know how many points. Let's try something like that. And then we'll go back to effects. We'll do the 3D again. And on the 3D, 
I'm going to just bring this up something to that effect and then I'm going to go here and once again play around I kind of like that so I think I'll do that that looks pretty good and now let's go back to the store and see the things here his inner radius um, points inner radius maybe we'll add points let's try the inner radius a little bit more and I think I'm fine with that a little bit better I want it a little wider but now here's some cool things now let's change some colors so you can change the color of that star just go here and let's say we did maybe a light blue let's let's pick something like like a light blue and then we'll duplicate it to duplicate it you press down with your finger and you let go and you can click duplicate so now I have two stars and what I could do with the second star let's bring the one below it maybe change that one and maybe I'll make that one yellow and you don't see it because I have to rotate it so what I'll do now is I will just grab this up here and I'll rotate it and that gives you some cool effects and you can just leave it at that and make different colors but if you really want to do some more stuff do it again and this time overlay it so what you can do now let's say I duplicate it again and I'm just gonna overlay so that some of them are crossing over each other and maybe I'll make this one for now I'll try just some kind of a red but now let's let's work with blend mode so what you do is blend modes say the first one let's go up here on top and look for your, your modes let's slide this over so we could see and slide these and you can go to different look at this just this is just the top one affecting the ones below so you can get some very interesting effects if you just keep going it's pretty cool and I kind of like some of these that little green is pretty good vivid light how about difference difference gets red in there so I'm gonna leave difference and maybe then get the one underneath it let's see let's go back take the yellow one maybe I'll do difference on that also just to see what that's like if I can find it and I'm not crazy about that but you can actually hard mix looks good on that one so there's a very cool these are very cool effects and it's really not hard to do all right the more I look at the cog I'm not really that crazy about it so I'm just going to go back to the cog or maybe I need to change the, the 3d effect let me go to the 3d set of 18 I think I'm going to bring it all the way up look at this I kind of like that so I think that's a better version of the cog I hope you liked this tutorial and I want to thank you all I, I just hit 10,000 subscribers I am thrilled I know uh, some people have so many more subscribers but I'm only doing this a short time and I just do it for fun and I hope you enjoy my videos and I just appreciate all of you who have subscribed and if you didn't please click that like and subscribe button and have a great day thank you so much bye